Yo, 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 it's your boy Fresh signing up for Next Up TV. I'm over here at Audio Vision Studios turning up right now, letting y'all know a couple things I got twerking in the projects right now, you know what I mean? LA to MIA, we got a couple things working. I just landed a mixtape on that piff called Out of Hand. Make sure y'all holla at that. I'm currently working on my new mixtape called Zoning. Just landed a new video called Know Me Now. Shit changed, man. Make sure you check that out. Future History, Jason Derulo, what up? Tell them niggas I'm zoning. You're tuned in to Next Up TV. I'm your host, Ms. Faye, and I'm currently at Audio Vision Studios with my boy Fresh. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. You know what I'm here for, right? That's because I'm next <laughs> up. <laughs> he is next up, and there's a lot of things your fans want to know. Well, getting into the music. Um, I know you're pushing your walk away. I'm um, yes. single. How is life on tour? Uh, life on tour is amazing. Waking up overseas in different cities, you know what I'm saying, different towns, different places is is crazy. Seeing those um, seeing those faces, different places. I went from um, performing in front of ten thousands, hundred thousands. There was a time in Morocco I performed in front of three hundred and fifty thousand, and that was amazing. It was like two hundred TVs in the stand, people screaming your name. They know your songs. That goes from the songs, the music just stopping, and you're just like, I might just drink a little, mm -hmm. smoke a little bit, you know what I mean? And it's like, when you hear that, it's just like, okay, you know, you're working, you know, you got a movement going on, your voice is being heard, and people are actually listening. Well, you talked about being fresh, and um, I see you're really into fashion, so why music? Well, I would say music, because music is a voice, mm -hmm. and I feel like I got a voice that should be heard. I got a voice that a pe that people want to hear, you know what I mean? So like, music is big and music is played everywhere. You can get in a car, you can put your laptop on, you can play a game, you know what I mean? You can just drive with your windows down and you're going to be hearing music. So music is a big voice to me and when I was younger I always wanted to hear myself. I might just cop the Porsche, Porsche. depending on how I feel. Depend on how I, feel. I might just drop the top, the top. depending on how I feel. Depend on how I drop feel. 80 on the watch. the watch, that's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Uh -huh. I might just cop the Porsche, Porsche. depending on how I feel. I might just drop the top, the top. depending on how I feel. Drop 80 on the watch, that's just how I feel. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Kept it cool. Would you say that's how you got your name? Um, I would say that's how I got my name. Um, actually, um, the first day of school was actually like Christmas to me. Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, well, I'm gonna wear the the best thing to school, like the freshest thing, and I always wanted to stand out. Right. And I knew all the kids was gonna match, so you know that wouldn't stand out as much. So I wanted to match match, you know, with bright colors and stuff. Mm -hmm. So so that's what I would do. And it would got to the point where. I would do it sixth grade, seventh grade, then I was like, you know what, when I get to high school, I wanna do it every day. I wanna do it so much, I wanna do it so much, they gonna call me fresh. Mm -hmm. But even before I did that, they was already calling me fresh, cause I was like, mitch matching, I was new stuff here and there. It's like allowance, I will always buy new stuff. Like, mm -hmm. whatever out, I'm gonna go wash them dishes, I'm gonna go <laughs> clean, I'm gonna go clean the house, cause I gotta stay fresh. I gotta stay fresh. Everybody, they would, they would see me and they'd be like, yo, you fresh. And I, and I got used to that, it was like an addiction. I want people to see me and be like, yo, you fresh. So that's how that came about. Okay. Cause she heard that I'm cool. He heard that I hit it, now her man acting a fool. She just wanna feel him. Baby, just feel him. Saying she don't know, but know exactly what to do with it. Baby, I'm a special. in any kind of way? Um, I would say I got some of my ways from Miami. But as far as molding me, you know, that comes from being around. That comes from going around. Cause I always traveled doing music and stuff like that, and I always researched people who I looked up to and stuff like that. And you know, I always added that to my ways and to who I wanted to be in the future. So I felt like doing all of that kind of molded me into, you know, the artists or who I am now. Like, how was life growing up in Miami? Tell me about your struggles. I'm one of three kids. From us sharing rooms, like four to five of us in one small room, sleeping on a twin-size bed. And from there, like, 
does separate and sleeping on couches and stuff like that. And we all wanted somewhere to go. Knowing damn well, grandma home waiting on me. But I won't make it there where the police been trolling on Coming me. from the studio, ain't got no bail on me. But got weed and the smell on me. The dogs here, they gon' tell on me. Ease off if they getting too close. If I roll this window down, it's gon' leave a trail of smoke. Knowing that shit that had you. Is there any artists um, that you look up to in the music industry? Um, I look up to a couple artists, but uh, I would I would definitely um I would definitely say Ti because he's he's one of the guys with a voice and his voice gets heard like and people react to his voice and he got a message he got a positive message and as a person like you know when I see him he's he's always high energetic like he's motivated I'm not sure what he's so motivated on but he's he's probably self motivated right. you know what I mean and and that's what I like so that's why I, I look at him and be like yeah. Yeah, he's living. That's that's a voice. That's that's what I want to do. I want to be heard just like him. What makes you next up? We the movement. We the biggest movement. We picking up our phones. We signing deals. We networking. We future history. We got a backbone. We right here. We in the studios right now. After this, after this, it's going to be a session. It's going to be history again. Another song. That's why we next up. It's Boy Fresh. We got a team. We working. We not sleep. <laughs> so you heard it here first. This is your boy Fresh. He is next up. And if you want to get in contact with him, he, they can follow you at... At DA Official Fresh. That's the Instagram, the Facebook, as well as the Twitter. All right. This is Next Up TV. I'm your girl, Miss Faye. And this is Fresh. Pow! Press play. I just want to let y'all boys know something. Just to keep it motivational. If you're out there working, keep working hard. Because working does get you somewhere. If you try and keep trying, try harder. You do have a future. And whatever you do, make sure you're making history. All right? There's people listening to you. If you have a voice, make sure it's heard. Keep doing what you're doing. Your boy, Fred. I might drink a little, smoke a little bit. Turn down for what? Girl, I'm in Schmick. Cause I check. I'm getting low. Now, check. My I don't mind at all. Really not at all, cause every time we do us, I tend to miss all my cards. Get might as well just take this ring up phone and turn it off. Cause I'm more interested in getting in between your job. My I treat you like you two jobs. Nine to five and six to two. And get the no we This the next big thing coming. I'm trying to tell you something. Listen to what I'm telling you now. We brought you Jason Derulo. Now we bring you boy fresh.